And welcome back to our community. Susie Thomas visiting with Kathy Jennings of the YWCA. Talking about the shelters, I'm seeing here some, um, something that looks very interesting. It's called Love, Hair, and Happiness. Tell me, what in the world is that? Yes. Um, for three years now, uh, we have been, again, so blessed um, with community support. And a uh, Yvonne Reese, who um, owns a salon here in town, She has put together a group of volunteers, um, and it is amazing, 40 to 50 volunteers, Mm. and they put together a Sunday, and it just happened last weekend, where all of our people that are involved in any of our housing programs, plus Refuge of Hope, which is just down the street from us. Get the men in there. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Is that from 11 until 4 last Sunday... We had about approximately 120 people come through, through Refuge of Hope and through our services, and they received a hot meal, um, goodie bags, as Yvonne loves to call them, full of all different kinds of things um, to help them and to support them. Mm -hmm. Um, They had a delicious sweets table (laughs) that had everything from (laughs) homemade goodies to bought Mm -hmm. goodies. Um, Mm -hmm. And then... The big part of it is is giving haircuts, manicures, mm-hmm. um, and she has approximately twenty to thirty that um, hairdressers, barbers, wow. manicurists, and even chair massages um, that they come in and they are treated to that um, all free, and it wow. is it is amazing to watch the transformation of people. And when they see it and someone cares enough to do this, Mm -hmm. it again validates them that they are special, that they are a person, and that someone really cares. Um, And it just, it's such a cool day. And of course, the kids that are in our programs come in. And the um, uh, snow princesses are there, and they're all in costumes. And the, the little ones just walk in. And they just, they're, they're, it takes all the stress yes. of being five years old and being homeless. Mm. Um, they can be kids for that day. And what's really cool is they have this down to such a great thing um, for the residents and for those that, that get to come in that day that they even greet each one with a rose as they come through oh the door. Oh, my goodness. So it is, it, it is an amazing day that, again, is put together by all volunteers mm-hmm. and by just a group of people that come in and give their all that day. You know, what does it say to you about what you are doing that other people come on board and say, we'd love to do this and help you and help your clients. And we'd love to do this. Um, I'm thinking of a a recent Mardi Gras, just taking Mm -hmm. care of people's undergarments. That's right. um, From Simply Give. um, Yes. That that other organizations want to hook up with you. What does that say to you about what you're doing? It says that what we are doing in the community is needed and that people know we're there. And that people know that it is a service that we can't do it by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that if they come in and do this, that we are building a better Star County. Um, Because these are the people that belong to Star County. And these are the folks that too long have lived under our radar. That deserve to have that chance. Deserve to be treated like a person deserve to be recognized, and our community. And, and it is such a blessing because I get to witness this. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it is. And it, and it always astounds me whether it's someone dropping off a donation um, for our donation room, mm-hmm. um, which donations can be dropped off uh, Monday through Friday. And we have help unloading um, from about 8.30 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon if you need that. But, you know, it it amazes me because somebody will come in and say, hey, you know, something happened or we're moving, we're downsizing. And we have this huge donation room. And we heard about about the agency and we heard what you do for our women, children, families of the community. 
And so anybody that uses any of our services um, can go into our donation room. And we have everything yeah, from... Yeah, let's talk about that. It looks like a store. <laughs> it does. And it's and it's organized so cute, yes. like a boutique. It is. Um, it and is. you do have everything. But what kinds of things do you need? Is there anything that you need on a regular basis that there seems to be more demand for than other things? Pots, pans. Um, pots dishware, and pans. pots yeah. and pants, um, uh, plates, cups, sure. bowls, silverware, um, glasses, all of those things because as someone, well, when someone comes into our homeless shelter, we do a setup box because most people are coming in without these items. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, they have to eat while they're there. And we do have a, a shared kitchen facility where they can cook. And so, you know, we don't want them having to buy these things. And then so we have a setup box. And then when they're there and they're getting ready to move out and they're going to their apartment, they're going into their housing, it's anything that we can give them so that they don't have to spend the money. And start from scratch. Yeah. And so it is amazing, you know, that that you can go out that somebody has because you're encouraging a family to sit down yes. if they have enough plates to go around. Yes. Um, and sheets and blankets and pillowcases, bedding. Um, bedding is not cheap. And so when we can, you know, have that um, and, a, and a child has a bed or, or, mm -hmm. or a lady has a bed to call their own. And, and, you know, it's got sheets on it. You're not sleeping on a mattress. It has sheets and pillowcases and a blanket to keep you warm. Um, curtains, just just curtains so that, you know, that blanket don't comes down at night to cover you and in the daytime goes up as a curtain. No, we want them, you know, to have a home that they can be proud of. Mm -hmm. And anything we can provide like that. Um, that gives them then they don't have to spend the money. You know what I'm kind of thinking that as you, it would be interesting to just go through a day and just even jot down or mm -hmm. speak into your phone mm. or, or something, everything you do, everything you use. And then, then you got a cool list. And then like the next trip to Kohl's or Mark's or wherever you happen to be, yes. Target, pick up an extra one. Mm -hmm. like it's so easy to, you know, when you're buying some washcloths, pick up an extra little stack and then bring it on over to the YWCA because then you are Great helping idea. somebody else mm -hmm. get going. But that's not expensive. It right. just takes a little bit of getting it on top of our minds. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the that's the issue. Exactly. It's, if it's what out of sight, out of mind. But if we can keep it on top of our minds to help our fellow citizens yes. get back on their feet. Yes, definitely. And we also have what we call a pantry. And that has, um, we have canned goods, non-perishables, um, soaps, shampoos, toothpaste, toothbrushes, deodorant. Feminine hygiene Jean. items. Yes. <laughs> um, all of those things. Yeah. Um, because, again, the less money they have to spend while they're living there, they can save. Yes. And then they're going to be much better successful when they move out. Let's talk about the school. You oh, do yeah. so much in the area of early childhood <laughs> education and preparing these kids for yes. for school, for kindergarten readiness, and yes. for life. Yes. Um, it's amazing what goes on at the Y. Uh, last year alone, we served over 200 infants up through preschool. Wow. Infant how old? Six weeks. Wow. That's the youngest we can take wow. them. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, as young as six weeks. That's young. Um, and... <laughs> and we have enrolled there um, our kids that are in the homeless shelter. Um, they automatically are enrolled in because it gives them their place. It starts to build security. Um, we also have through job and family services. If you're working, if you're going to school, if you qualify, if you're doing something, that job and family services will help assist with that. And we also um, have private pay and we're, and that from downtown, people working downtown, um, job and family services themselves and different businesses that are downtown, because we are a five-star rated. Oh, say um, that again. That's awesome. We are, um, the state of Ohio has a quality rating system 
for child care centers and early learning centers in the state of Ohio. And the highest rating you can get is a five star. The y- I can proudly say the YWCA has been a five star now for three years. Congratulations. That's amazing. And it's all due to that committed staff yes. and teachers that we have working at the YWCA. I'm glad you mentioned, too, that uh, people working downtown, that this would just be convenient for. Yes. You're getting a quality education yes. there, and there's not income eligibility, right? This would be right. open to all children. All children. It's open to all children. And, and what we do is that, again, because some of our children do have um, challenges, some of our families do. So our teachers are amazing because they're not just teachers. They are there to support the family. They are there to recognize. And whether it is someone living in a homeless shelter or whether it's a mom and a family that is private paying, um, issues do not know boundaries. And mm-hmm. so... We have seen um, the drug issue hit hit families um, that children are attending there. Um, we have been touched by too many, um, unfortunately, overdoses ourselves. And so consequently, if we can be there to support the children, support the family, support, and, and no matter what the living situation or what the family situation um, our teachers are there, and whether, and also again, it's the community. We have several different agencies that come in and add support, so that we have services right there for those children, so that they can be successful in our classrooms. And it it is just amazing. We we have data now that we are doing with our children. Um, we have a curriculum that we follow, and it's all that for kindergarten readiness, but it's also getting them ready socially and emotionally mm-hmm. because you can have a child that is just amazing, but if they cannot interact, it's not they're never going right. to come to their potential. Yeah. And so we are seeing every three months we are checking and following up, and we now have the data to back it up that what our teachers are doing – we are seeing anywhere from 10% to 25% jumps in the seven key areas in social, emotional, math, literacy, reading, um, cognitive development. We are seeing anywhere from 10 to 25%. And and what is really exciting to me is is that in some of the areas, 25% are making that jump that are even exceeding where they need to be. Mm, mm. And so it it is. It's amazing. Congratulations. That's awesome. I knew our time was going to fly by too, way, way, way too fast. But you also do a Women's Hall of Fame in the fall. Yes. And you are about to take um, nominations for people who do a lot. And everybody knows a woman who ought to be on that wall. So how do they make a nomination, Kathy? Um, Well, what we will be doing is in mid-spring here. um, We're looking at April, May that nominations will be going out. Um, People can watch our website, and nominations will be going out to the community. And it is, as you said, for our Women's Hall of Fame, and it can be any woman um, from Stark County that has contributed either through volunteer, through their work. And one of the really exciting things is that we also have a teen every a student, year. Student, I love And it is, yeah. it is amazing. Very cool. So, What's the yeah. web- website real quickly? Um, the website is www.ywcacanton.org. That's awesome. Kathy Jennings, thanks for all you do in our community. Thanks, Susie.